Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Top Stadium Club Baseball 4 box uh, random team break number 1. If you bought one spot, that gets you two teams in this break. So, like Sir Mix a lot, let's double you up. I like double mint gum. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one, seven times for each list. One, two. And a one, seven the final time. After seven, we've got Courtney down to Adam. All right, six and a one, seven times for the teams. One. And a one, seven the final time. After seven times, we got the Friars down to the Cubs. All right, what, what are we doing here? Oh, there it is. All cards ship right there. There you go. So Courtney with the Padres and the Royals, Adam with the A's, Courtney with the Astros, White Sox and Giants, Zach with the Red Sox, Richard with the Braves, Brett with the Cardinals, Adam with the Angels and Pirates, uh, Tang with the Tigers, Adam with the Reds and Rockies, Courtney with the Marlins and Blue Jays, Adam with the Brewers, Drew with the Mariners, Adam with the Diamondbacks, Richard with the Rays, Adam with the O's, Drew with the Indians, Brett with the Mets, Courtney with the Nats, Can uh, Anthony with the Rangers, uh, Adam with the Phillies, Tang with the Twins, Zach, you have my Dodgers, Anthony with the Yankees, and Adam Harper with the Cubby Cubs. Let's put all this on one screen right here. And while you're considering trades, the case is right above my head. I'm going to pop it open and we're going to see which four boxes we're going to do. Four boxes? Did I do that right? So on the dice roll, we're going to go one, two, three, four. So let's flip screens just for a quick second. Let's use that Dodger blue die. And if I roll a, if I roll a five or a six, I'll just roll again. Like that. That's two. So it's one, two. So we'll do these four boxes right here. And the other, the other ones we'll save for next time. Looks like no hint of a trade. So let's TWC trade window close. Let's print and rip. Remember, schedule is in the chat, folks, if you want to know what we've done and what's coming up and what we're doing now. Four box Ram team number one, 2020 Top Stadium Club Chrome Baseball. Thanks everyone for getting in, appreciate it.
Are they the same amount of cards in this? I feel like... Packs are a little bit harder to open in this one. Here. Here's box number one. There's Randy Arzarania, Corey Kluber. I don't know why some of these are flipped around and right side up. Just to drive us crazy? Probably. Luis Robert rookie going to Courtney and the White Sox. And is that our autograph? Wow. Two out of 15 Lone Star signatures, Cal Ripken Jr. Adam Harper got randomized the Orioles in this one. Not too shabby. That's awesome. Nice shot of Tony Gwynn right there. And there you go. Nice start. Box number one. Box number two. No, Jackson doesn't like the chrome. You think thinks Tops went overboard with all the chrome? Yeah. I don't know. I like I like chrome black. I thought that was really nice. I like seeing the Ginter chrome. There's only really a few extra chrome releases now. Is there really that much more? Is there more chrome coming up? Is there more chrome coming up? I thought I thought it was just black stadium club and uh, Ginter getting the chrome treatment. In addition to the usual tops chrome and Bowman chrome, that's pretty standard though. 
I don't know if that's overboard, is it? Oh, they did have that Ben Baller. Right, and I guess they do Sapphire too. That's that's a kind of a chrome design as well. Although those those resell pretty well, so I don't think a lot of people are complaining about. Oh well you just don't like Ginter. That's what it is, Jackson. Let's go let's get to the root of it. I thought Ginter Chrome was was pretty good. Like I'm, I'm almost thinking, does Stadium Club need a Chrome? I'm trying to. Think. I thought the Ginter Chrome, which is in that that sort of flat paper, kind of looked nice seeing it spiced up with a little bit of Chrome. <laughs> Go Gypsy Queen Chrome. Maybe. I'd like to see them do that though. Like, if they don't, let's say they, if they like alternate years, I think that'd be pretty interesting. Like, let's say it's Ginter this year, and then it'll be Gypsy Queen Chrome next year that gets the Chrome treatment. I think that could be pretty cool. Love the photography in this, and then we've got Brian Abreu. Brian, feel free to use the entire canvas here, buddy. It's autographing right on his leg. That goes to the Strohs, Courtney, and the Astros. All right, two boxes to go. So there's almost like a like in a stadium club update vibe. So did Ginter do the same thing? Ginter Chrome? Was it was more of like an updated checklist. I'd like that. Like have some of the regular sets release earlier in the year, and then later in the year release them in a Chrome vibe, but give it an update feel. Update it with any of like the sort of the hot rookies that may have just exploded or emerged out of the blue, that kind of thing. That'd be cool. I like that. I like that they're kind of experimenting. You know what I mean? They might never. They might never do this again. You know, or if it works out, then maybe they will. But I like that they're kind of saying, "Hey, what what kind of sort of tweaks can we make to existing product without redesigning a, an entire product? Are there some fan favorites that people would like to see? Give them the chrome treatment every once in a while." I think it's an interesting idea. Like the Ben Baller stuff, I mean, whatever you thought about the Ben Baller stuff, I think, uh, I think there was a lot lot of conversation around it. You know? I think it could be interesting to see if if maybe that kind of pay, sets the first foundation or paves the way for more collaborations with even bigger bigger artists or designers in the future. I think at the time we were joking around about like how cool would it be if they eventually got like I don't know like like the creative director at like Louis Vuitton doing like or Gucci doing a Topps Chrome card how sick would that be I think that'd be pretty awesome you know maybe maybe the little I like the design of Satan Club this year, by the way. Maybe maybe those little notches right there behind the team names could be like in Gucci colors or something like that. Like a, a special trim around the edge. That could happen.
I think that's a that's a good uh, good way to figure to kind of stretch audiences a little bit. There's Jake Fraley, also a little nervous about his autograph. It looks like it's a good autograph, Jake. Let's just stretch that out a little bit. That goes to the M's. That'll go to Drew. And I. I think I think I, I love those little uh, those little color swatches that they put there. I'm a big fan of that design. Remember, all cards ship, so I, I'm not super familiar with like whatever variations and stuff there may be. I'm just kind of eyeing auto, uh, looking for autos, but but all cards ship, so you'll you'll get everything. I'm trying to look for Luis Roberts and Kyle Lewis's, but I feel like I only seen that only seen that Luis Robert early on. It's a cool shot of Bellinger. Spolkovac, Feller. Ty Cobb, D. Gordon. All right, and the final box. Oh, did I miss both of those guys? <laughs> right in the first pack. I guess my brain wasn't in, wasn't ready yet. Good eye, SCL. Good eye. Good eye. There's the Arizarania for the Rays, Richard. And there's your uh, AL Rookie of the Year, Kyle Lewis. For Drew and the M's. And Richard had the Rays. All right, final box in this... Uh, Relatively quick four box break. I've already forgotten what's coming up next, but the break schedule's in the chat. I think that number block randomizer maybe, or was it the opulence pack? One or the other. Northwestern College of Basketball in the background. Starling Marte. Q 
There was a the zone, Lucas Giolito. Jock Peterson. It's Mike Trout. Who won NL Rookie of the Year? Why am I blanking on who won NL Rookie of the Year? Kyle Lewis won AL Rookie of the Year. Davin Williams? Brewers? I guess he was just was not as memorable as Kyle Lewis or, or uh, Luis Robert. Another Arzurania rookie for the Rays. That'll be for Richard. Oh, then there's the auto. It's Tommy Edmond. For the STL, that's going to go to Brett and the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, and there you go. That was four box random team break number one of the brand new 2020 Top Stadium and Club Chrome Baseball. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. There's our autos, Edmund Lewis, Arozarena, Jake Fraley, Brian Abreu, Luis Robert, rookie, and we started off with the out of 15, Cal Rukin Jr. Not a bad break. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.